All right, good morning, guys. Tracker got his rock. You leave that alone. Eric's got to brush the pearly whites. Take care of yourself. Just got loaded with some of their new lemonade ignite. Headed into a deep canyon today. Hopefully we can get in there, maybe work the bottoms and the benches if there are any. Uh, if we could even get in there, there might be one big snow bank that we uh, could have trouble getting through. Foreman crew, ready to head out. Well, here's our first one of the day. Good boy. Ancient. Wow. Right down on this little rock slab. Could mean we're getting to a good spot, maybe. I'll probably just leave him here until later, maybe on the way back I'll snag him. go day three track and Eric getting right across the creek going kind of up by where we found our antlers the first night we're thinking there's a couple more south slopes we could glass that would definitely hold antlers last year and possibly even this year come on tracker Good boy. Check out this rub. Back from the fall, but right in this creek bottom. We just followed some elk tracks up. And right here, it looks like it's gonna bench off. Could be a good spot for a shed. All right, we're on the board with our first elk shed. Doesn't look big. I just caught a glimpse of a tine. Looked down and saw that. It's an old one. Last year's are older. Let's go down to it. This is a really good pocket. Like, I'll be surprised if there's not browns because there's a lot of tracks up here. Right on these rocks, check this out. Chalk, kind of a nice little bowl, but he's chalk. Land right on the edge of these rocks. Oh boy. That's three chalk antlers for me on this trip. All right, I'll get the pick up here. Oh, he's a six point. Man, he's ancient though. Look at that. It's kind of a cool look to him, but he's just falling apart, he's so old. I'll keep him, but man, that's old antler. So we're up here now, made it to our glassing point, and we're looking across at one, two, three, about four south facing slopes. Eric found his on the furthest north one, and so now we're back up in here looking for uh, some more antlers. Time for lunch. I've got these tuna packs, some gushers, almond butter for some healthy fats. Nutty butter, nutty bars just for feel good food, some more almond butter, some of my go to gummy bears for the glycogen, and we got our beef jerky, me and Tracker will <laughs> munch on that, won't we buddy? Just one chalk six to start today off. Alright, 130 now, still have the same antler, I just had to get off that ridge line because it was so windy, but Eric made one hell of a spot on a shed looks like a six point but we can't tell how big uh, and it was way over there after about a half hour of glassing and going over it he finally spotted it uh, so he's gonna go actually dip into that canyon and go get it and look for more there should be more over there but I kind of had a feeling to come back and hit down low where we started the day and I found this shed so we're heading there now crossing through this north slope then we'll dip down one canyon up and then we'll be in the zone 
This is why I love shed hunting this country. Look how this big old tree starts as one, then splits all the way up into two. It's so fun getting a change of scenery and just the unknown of not knowing what anything is up here, kind of where you're at. It's just all new, new country, new experience. That's what it's all about. My heck, no other antlers all day. We got back to the four-wheeler. I'm gonna eat these snacks real quick and then we're gonna head back. Eric's, he's on his way, he's probably 45 minutes if he hikes pretty quick, hour, 45, out, 45 minutes to an hour out. And uh, he only has one antler too, it sounds like. So we're gonna head back to camp and I have high hopes for tomorrow, but I don't know what to expect snow depth wise. Uh, last few days we've just been kind of going at random spots and just not quite the luck we wanted, but still found a shed every day. I'm at three chalks on the trip, one chalk each day. And I left the one back on the ridge, so only have two in the pile. All right, morning three on the mountain, four on the trip. Peanut butter, oatmeal, banana for breakfast. Eric's gonna head out, clean up that bloody nose. Dude, day two with the bloody nose for me. It's not just a good look. So many sheds that it just gave him a nosebleed. <laughs> so it's just gonna be me after this. Me and Tracker. He's all been out of shape because of all these people. My uncle, he came for a night. He's gonna head home today. And he still hasn't made up with Eric after a couple days ago. So we're gonna head out into some lower, we're gonna start high, but work into some lower country today and see if that we can't get into some browns that way or uh, just some more antlers in general. Here's Eric's pile to end the trip. Glassed up this guy. Found this guy, with or glassed him up with his eyes, essentially, and then glassed this one up. That's the one he spotted yesterday where you could pretty much just see one tip across the canyon. And then glass that one up the first night and walked onto those guys.